The one thing you can't avoid with women, no matter what, is being able to handle the first five minutes of meeting a woman that you find attractive. Some guys hope to try to avoid having to be good at that by building up their career, uh, getting a nice car, wearing great clothes, working out at the gym, and so on. Yet, as you may have noticed, guys like that don't always get the pretty girls. You may have noticed in your life a guy who seems like he'd be able to get a pretty girl because he looks good, he may be tall, he may have muscles, he may be wearing the latest fashion, have a great haircut, and so on, yet the woman walking next to him and holding his hand isn't attractive. In some cases, she may be very overweight. Some guys like that, but most guys don't. In other cases, she may be unattractive physically for other reasons. But you can clearly see that she isn't the sort of girl that you look at and think, wow, I'd like to be with her. She just isn't very physically attractive. So in the age of dating apps that we're in now, what often happens is that a guy will look good and be able to land himself a date, but then the woman, the pretty woman, won't really feel a spark with him or she will sense his lack of confidence and feel turned off by that. She'll sense that he doesn't feel worthy of her. And that may come across in him trying to big note himself, talking about his achievements and so on, or it may come across in how uncomfortable he seems as he's talking to her and so on. Now the thing is, a guy becoming successful in his career, looking better physically, wearing great clothes, having a expensive car and so on, are things that can attract women. There's no doubt about that at all. And they can serve as sort of like a bonus or a helper for a guy to be able to attract women initially. Or if a woman is attracted to him for other reasons, for example, he's confident, he's charming, he makes her laugh and so on. And then she finds out that he also has a great car. It's like a bit of a bonus. It's great. But in almost all cases, a guy isn't going to get himself a pretty girlfriend and be able to handle the first five minutes or the first five hours or the first five months of being with her just because he has a nice car or because he's been working out and looks great now because he's been going to the gym for a number of years, right? She's still going to want to be able to feel attracted to who he is. And that really comes down to how he behaves when he's around her and how she then behaves as a result of that around him. So for example, the same guy interacting with a pretty woman may interact with her and be nervous and unsure of himself and that's gonna get her to behave in a completely different way compared to if he was confident and charming, self-assured, was able to make her laugh and flirt with her and so on. It's the same guy, but she's going to behave differently based on how he's behaving. He's gonna get a completely different reaction from her. So if you wanna make the most of any opportunities you get with pretty women, whether that be a random interaction, an introduction through friends, or you approach her at a bar or a party, or you meet her through a dating app, you need to be able to handle the first five minutes of the interaction with her. You need to be able to make her feel a spark, feel attracted to you and want you more. You need to give her that feeling where she feels sexually attracted and she wants something to happen between you and her. There are many ways to do that. And in my book, The Flow, for example, I give examples of the eight different personality traits and behaviors that naturally attract women. One of those is humor. Everyone knows that a woman loves a guy who can make her laugh. Now, it's not just about using any type of humor though. It's not just about being silly or being cute with humor or being very serious or using dark humor and so on. The kind of humor that works to make a woman feel a spark with you is what I call playfully arrogant humor. Now, some guys might feel nervous by that word arrogant there. Don't worry, it's not being truly sincerely arrogant, it's being playfully arrogant, which means that you're just pretending to be arrogant for a laugh, right? Women find that very attractive because it's shocking, surprising, and just catches her off guard, right? And it's also the type of humor that guys will rarely use with pretty women because they don't wanna say anything that might seem rude or they don't wanna risk doing anything other than being nice when interacting with her. So say for example, a guy is on a date with a pretty woman and it's within the first five minutes. They are sitting down at a cafe or restaurant and she then asks the question, so do you wanna get a drink? 
Rather than just being straightforward with her and being nice, use that as an opportunity to be playfully arrogant. A drink? What are you trying to get me drunk or something? Look, I'm not going to sleep with you tonight, all right? I need at least three dates before we start holding hands, so take it easy. Or a drink? What are you trying to get me drunk or something? Look, I'm not sleeping with you tonight, okay? Now, pretty much any woman that you say that to will laugh, feel shocked, and be surprised in the moment that you're saying something like that because it's usually the woman who is saying that the guy is trying to sleep with her and she's not going to sleep with him, he's trying to get her drunk and so on. Yet you've switched the roles there and you're being playfully arrogant, right? To be sincerely arrogant, it would be something like this. A drink, I'm not having a drink, okay? I don't sleep with a woman very quickly. You might be able to get to sleep with me after a, a month or something like that, but I'm not uh, gonna get drunk tonight and sleep with you. What do you think this is? Right, so that's being seriously arrogant and you're not being that. Women understand that you're being playfully arrogant by saying something like, a drink? What are you trying to do, get me drunk? Look, I'm not sleeping with you tonight, okay? We're gonna have to go on at least three dates before you get to hold my hand, okay? So just relax. In almost all cases, she will laugh and then playfully try to defend herself and say that she wasn't trying to get you drunk so she could sleep with you and so on. Or she'll just laugh, get the joke and enjoy it. She will also feel attracted to you because you have the balls or the courage to say something like that in the moment. You're not treating her the way that 99 point something percent of other guys treat her because she's pretty. Pretty much every guy that meets her is on his best behavior. He doesn't want to say anything other than just something nice, something straightforward, something friendly. He doesn't want to risk potentially offending her, right? So he is on his best behavior and that's boring to her. It also looks desperate to her when a guy is obviously doing it, right? A woman just like you, right? You can sense when someone is being nicer than they really are, right? Or want to be. A woman can sense that too. She can sense that the guy isn't being real with her if he's just being polite and nice all the time. It's easy to sense. So if you wanna easily create a spark with a woman within the first five minutes of meeting her, have the courage to be playfully arrogant, right? It works. And for the guys watching this video who have my book, The Flow, or have used some of the other examples I've given on YouTube, the examples in my book, The Flow, and YouTube are always different, but for the guys who've used some of the examples, you will know that this stuff works. It's like magic, the way that it works. A woman just lights up. You see her eyes open wide, you see her starting to show lots of interest in you, touching on you, and just feeling alive, feeling energized by the fact that you have the confidence, the courage, and the social intelligence to say something like that and create a moment like that, rather than her saying, so, do you wanna get a drink? And you're just saying, yeah, sure, I, I might get a beer or something, what do you wanna get? And just having a straightforward interaction with her where you're just being like a friend. Right? If you want a woman to see you as something other than a friend, you need to do something that creates a sexual spark inside of her. Some guys feel confused about that though because women don't need to do anything to create a sexual spark inside of us other than look good and that's about it. Right? She looks good and a guy will say, oh yeah, look at that, look at that ass. I tap that, just it's immediate, right? Which is why you see a different reaction from men to women compared to women to men. With women, in almost all cases, you have to create a spark with her, right? Sometimes you get lucky and you interact with a woman and a spark just happens without you doing anything. Right? That's called getting lucky. But if you want your choice with women, you need to be able to create a spark. And there are many ways to do that. On that note, if you've enjoyed what you've been learning so far in this video and you'd like to learn my best ever ways for instantly creating a spark with a woman so she feels sexually and romantically interested in you, then I recommend that you read my ebook, The Flow, or listen to the audiobook version, The Flow on Audio. The Flow is the easiest way to get laid or get a girlfriend. It's the simple, natural, step-by-step -step process from hello to sex. So one final point that I wanna make for you in this video is that the other things in life, such as getting a nice car, looking better, being more successful in your career, aren't going to do the job for you. 
of handling the first five minutes of meeting a woman that you find attractive. Some guys get lucky at times and are able to get themselves a pretty girlfriend, but in almost all cases, it doesn't last because he doesn't really know how to make her feel attracted. He behaves in a way that reduces her attraction over time rather than increasing it, and as a result, the relationship falls apart. So while it's good to work on the other areas of life and have a balanced life and be a successful man, it is not gonna get the job done for you. If you want to be able to handle the first five minutes of an interaction with a woman that you find attractive and then have sex with her after however long it takes, an hour, a date, two dates, or have a relationship with her, then you need to know how to make women feel sparks of attraction for you. If you want some more free examples on how to do that, then make sure you watch some of my other videos here on YouTube. I always give unique examples, or if you want my best ever examples that I can't share on YouTube because they're in my ebook, then check out the flow. But either way, make sure that you know how to handle the first five minutes of an interaction with a woman that you find attractive so you can actually get her into a relationship or get laid, get what you want. Rather than losing the opportunity, messing up the date, and then having to wait who knows how long until you get another great opportunity with a pretty woman.